Hello everybody. In this chapter, we will create a diffuse reflection shader. There are a few things that we will discuss before we start writing the code. In the chapter of basic lighting model and rendering path, we understood that there are different rendering paths and one of them is the forward rendering. Forward rendering is the rendering path that is supported by most of the mobile devices, PCs and the consoles. So when we will write the diffuse shader and other lighting shaders, we will use the forward rendering path. And after that, we saw that there are two passes in the forward rendering or the forward lighting. One is the base pass and another is the additional pass. Base pass is the base of the forward lighting. If you are performing a forward lighting, you will have to have a base pass which will render one per pixel directional light and all other spherical harmonics lights such as the light probe that you have in the scene or the global illumination or the sky ambient. And the additional pass is for any additional light in the scene. So one thing here to understand is in the base pass of the forward lighting, there will always be a directional light. We cannot compute spotlight or any other light in the base pass and there will be no attenuation. And if you have an additional spotlight in the scene, we can write an additional pass. So we will begin our shader with the forward lighting and the base pass. And how we will structure our diffuse reflection shader is that we will provide certain properties because we want to get a full control of our shader. We want to be able to optimize the shader for different devices and we will calculate what exactly we need in our shader. So the one property that we will define is the diffuse property. How rough is your surface? How much it emits the diffuse reflection? Another property that we will define is the lighting. How you want to calculate the lighting? Do you want to calculate the lighting or do you want to calculate the vertex based lighting or the fragment based lighting? So another property will be lighting and this will provide us three options. We can completely turn off lighting so the lighting will not be calculated in the shader. We can calculate the vertex based lighting and we can calculate the fragment based lighting. The general rule is if the object is more prominent in the scene, you can calculate the fragment lighting and if the object is small or far away or is not prominent, we can calculate the vertex lighting. Vertex lighting is cheaper because we are calculating it per vertex instead of calculating it on per fragment. But as it will be calculated per vertex, it will be not as smooth as per fragment lighting. So we will add these two properties and then we also explained that we will use forward rendering and we will write the base pass which allows us to calculate one brightest directional light per pixel. So the condition for the base pass is either there can be zero light or one directional light. If there are more than one lights in the scene, one brightest directional light will be used for the base pass and other lights in the scene will be considered as spherical harmonics. So this is an overview of what we will do in our shader. So let's get back to our Unity and start writing some code. So we are in our Unity project. The first thing we will do is we will pick the normal map version 2 shader because that is the point from where we will start extending our shader to have the capability of diffuse reflections. Let's rename it and name it as lighting underscore diffuse. Open it in mono develop. The first thing that we will do in our shader is rename the shader. It is the 13th shader of our series. The 12th shader was the outline shader. So we will rename it as 13 lighting underscore diffuse. So now before adding any property or any other code in the shader, 